Hi everybody, this is Adriana from the Greenbrier Branch of the Faulkner County Library and I am coming to you for our Imagine Your Backyard. Um, today I made a little fairy garden. It is the cutest thing and I had so much fun making it and I'm going to explain to you how I did that. All right. Okay, so here is my fairy garden. Isn't it cute? Okay, so you'll need some sort of a pot or a planter. Um, I already had this and it already had um, dirt and um, mulch in it. So I didn't really have to do anything with it. I just got the pot. Um, but you'll need a pot with some uh, mulch um, or soil or anything like that. And then everything else I literally picked up out of my yard, including Shrinky. This little guy lives in our backyard. Isn't he cute? Now, I will remind you that if they come into your, your yard, that's okay. Or if you're helping them cross the street, you know. Um, but really, you shouldn't take box turtles out of their environment. Um, this guy was already living here, so we just let him stay. Um, but if you're if you're helping one cross the road or something, and you're really far away from your home, please don't take him home with you. Um, just because it's it's good for him to stay in his environment. All right. So that is Shrinky. Okay. And then everything else I literally picked up out of my yard. Um, I have flowers for my garden. Um, I have some clover that um, grows in, here in our backyard. Um, the gnome is from my garden and so is the little turtle. So I already had those guys. Um, this is from our tree that I am actually sitting underneath right now. Um, I had some mushroom that I laid out, some river rock that we already had. And then this is a tire swing I made with two twigs, yarn, and a little piece from a keychain. I'm gonna put him back where he belongs. He's wanting to go home. And then I made a little fairy house at using a um, toilet paper roll and a piece of paper. And that itself is really easy. You just cut down the roll to whatever size you want it to be. You can color it or paint it and make a little door. And then I made the top by cutting a circle out of a piece of um, cardstock. And then I cut a triangle off one end and then folded it together and secured it with glue dots. And that's it, guys. That's all I did. Um, I had this moss was growing in our yard. So that's literally all I did. So everything I had was found around my house. Now, if you don't live somewhere where you have access to um, a backyard, to trees, stuff like that, you can always go out and about and find this stuff. You know, you can find it at the park or, you know, on a little hike through, you know, a trail. Or even the side of the road. If you're driving along and you see some wildflowers, stop and pick them. Just make sure they're wildflowers and not from somebody's garden. Other than that, it is a very simple and easy craft to do. And it's one that can actually promote literacy too. Because after you guys have made it, you can come out and you can tell stories about the fairies that live there. And just make it this big whole thing. And it's fantastic. It is fun. And it's adorable. So I hope you guys do this on your own. If you do, be sure to post it to our Facebook page. Um, and tag us in it. Or post it to your Facebook page and tag us in it. We would love to see anything that we show you that you guys recreate. Alright. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will see you again next Thursday. Okay. Bye.